Hey, it's Bridget from Child's Heart Yoga here at the Earth Pulse Yoga Studio in the Hamilton neighborhood of Baltimore City. We are here now to do some chair yoga, which is great to do in the office. Helps to keep the spine loose and flexible. By doing that, you reduce back pain, hip pain, neck and shoulder pain, which is all connected through the spine. So there's a famous yogi named Rumi, and Rumi said, you are as young as your spine is flexible. So we wanna keep that spine moving. So I'm going to lead you through a few exercises that you can do to help with any pain you may be having for sitting for long periods of time to help keep that spine flexible. We're going to begin with a couple of slow, deep breaths to center and relax our bodies before we start. Breathe in. And out. Inhale again. And exhale. As you inhale this time, begin slow neck rolls around in a circle. You may hear some snap, crackle, and popping in your neck. As long as there is no pain, that's a good thing. Cartilage and air pockets breaking up in your neck to increase the flexibility. As you next come up to center, pause here for a moment and take a breath. Exhale and begin to move that neck in the opposite direction. Slow breaths. One more time around. And as you come back up to center, pause for a moment for a breath. And exhale out. As you inhale again, we're gonna start shoulder rolls. So inhale the shoulders up and exhale them back and down. And again. You can move them one at a time if that feels better. And one more. And pause here. On your next breath, reverse that direction. Inhale the shoulders back and exhale down and forward. Again, you can move one at a time if that feels better. Good. One more to go. And pause here. We're going to begin to move our spine. There are six directions that the spine moves. And by moving the spine in each of these directions every day, you increase your flexibility, your spine is younger, your mood is better, your body feels better. We're going to begin by moving the feet just about as wide as the chair legs. Spine nice and straight. You're gonna take a breath in, and as you breathe in, move the lower back forward. Lift the chin and the eyes toward the ceiling. You'll feel this in your lower back. And as you exhale, Pull that lower back towards the back of the chair. Roll the shoulders forward and drop the chin to the chest. Inhale again, move that lower back forward. Chin and eyes up. Exhale, round those shoulders. Pull that lower back towards the back of the chair and drop the chin. And one more, move forward, chin and eyes up. You should feel that lower spine loosening up. Exhale, bring that lower spine towards the back of the chair, chin to the chest. And come back to your center. We're gonna move into some side stretches. Bring your hands down to either side of the chair. 
spine nice and straight. Inhale, lift one arm up to remind you to keep that spine straight. Exhale, lean to the side. Inhale, back up again. And exhale, down. And the opposite arm. Again, straight up to remind you to keep that spine straight. Exhale, bend to the side. Inhale up, exhale down. Once more on each side. Exhale over, feel that opening in the side body. Inhale up. And last time. Exhale, bend to the side. Inhale up and exhale back down. We're gonna move into some spinal twists next. Bring your arms up to your shoulders. Have those elbows straight out. This movement moves with the breath. So as you inhale, turn to one side and look at the wall to the side of you or behind you. And as you exhale, twist to the opposite wall. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, once more. Back to center, bring your hands down. This completes the six movements of the spine. We're going to finish with what are known as Sufi rolls, which is a loosening of the hips. So with the legs still spread, maybe a little bit wider than the chair legs, you're gonna take a breath in and hinge at the hips. Move one side, exhale the other. And reverse. Good. Come back to center. Bring your hands to the heart center. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out. <laughs> 